Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is your host, All Gavin here, and I am back with episode four of All the Magic Spellbounds. I am by myself today. Um, Isabel is eating dinner currently, but uh, she's already past this point that we're going to be doing, so uh, it's okay. She's ahead of us. Um, we've just been exploring and stacking up on lots of different stuff off camera and trying to get organized again because um, we were just looting dungeons, dropping stuff off. Um, because of these quests right here, um, to make the ebony substance and the ivory substance to make the ebony side metal rod frame and the ivory side metal rod frame, you actually have to be in the end to cast the spell. So Isabel has been looking for spell or uh, the end. Um, we found the stronghold. So she's currently in the stronghold. We just haven't found the portal yet. Um, so we're going to be able to do that soon and complete the side quest line because I'm going to go ahead and knock out everything else this video. Um, so we're to the better CAD parts. Uh, I already have the side metal rod frame, which is four side metal ingots and one wood. Uh, we need a quick rod crux, flashing rod notch, and sparkling rod source. So, uh, let's just make sure we have everything, um, we need, I think, I can't find my, there it is, right here, this is what I needed, I need those, cause, like I said, I just kinda dumped everything, when we were looting up, um, okay, so we can make the sparkling rod source, Oh, we're missing one redstone. Just keep that on us for now. Um, boom. And the quick rod crux. Okay. So these are four parts we need to make uh, this better CAD, which is going to be a psi metal uh, focusing rod. So we can go ahead and throw this focusing rod up away in there. Um, and then we're going to need this spell node. And we're going to come over here. Uh, okay. We're going to name this Greater Infusion. Greater Infusion. And right here, we're going to need to go to Infusion. Greater Infusion. There we go. And with this spell note here, we're just going to right click that. Come back to the rod thing. Boom, we got greater infusion on this rod. So now we can go ahead and collect our reward and go ahead and make uh, one side gem. Um, hey, Isabel, could you tell them to be quiet, please? Thank you. That's okay. Uh, doggies being a little loud in the background. I don't know if you can hear them or not. But um, so what I did there, I just threw a. Uh, one diamond on the ground. I'm just going to go ahead and throw nine on the ground and turn them all into side gems. Uh, using the focusing rod, the side metal rod frame focusing rod with the greater infusion. Just right click on the diamonds and turn them into side gems. All right. So we got three more now. Um, next, we need even better CAD. Okay, so hold on. First, we'll make side metal tools. So we'll do this side metal pickaxe, side metal axe. Side metal shovel, okay. Boom. Boom. Alright, well. Alright, that works on those two, so that's cool. Oh, I needed the gold. Oops, I needed both of that. All right, so now we have a drained rod varnish. What does that mean? What did I just do? I have no idea what just happened. I was just holding shift on this menu and I opened up something. Interesting. Um, okay. So then even better. Yeah, what, what are they, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, not funny, but. Okay, so. What's what's this do? Hold on, let's see.
I don't know. We'll have to use it on a later one. All right, so we got these tools. These are not bad tools, especially if we can enchant them. They'd be pretty decent. Oh, wait. Spells. We can put spells on the tools. That's cool. That's actually dope. Okay. We'll mess around with those tools later on then. And put some spell runies on them. I need to go ahead and cook some food real quick. Uh, this can go in there. All right. So I, I added all those, right? Yep. Okay. So we got the swift rod done. We got the beaming rod notch done. We're missing glowstone dust. Uh, do we not have any? Might not be a huge deal. I'm gonna go grab some real quick. Doesn't look like it. Hold on, what's this though? Okay, I'm gonna put this on my head. And what's this do? Uh Okay. Oh. We'll keep this enchanted voodoo poppet on us then, for now. Uh, and then the food, we needed the food. Let's grab some glowstone real quick and head right back and finish this up. Glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank God for these bunny slippers just allowing me to hop over their heads. Um, because I just want to go run. And get out of here and get some glowstone. Let's. I hope nothing lights me on fire because I'm screwed. Gotta go home if I get lit on fire because of this ring. There's some right here. Can I get to that? This is working. Yeah, it is. Got it. Okay. Radiant Rod Crux. Major Rod Notch. And Bursting Rod Source. Okay. Let me make sure... These are the highest tier components for cast enemies. You'll need to choose which socket and core best suits your needs. Which socket and core? Oh, there's two cruxes. Okay, so whatever we don't use, we can just give it to Isabel, and she can make the opposite of what we make. What we make, that's what I meant to say. Um, so we'll do this, that, bandwidth, save vectors, bandwidth 9, bandwidth 8, 10, 21, 12, 18, 19. So that one's overall better, I think. Radiant, complexity projection. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna do the swift. Uh, 
Okay. Boom. Throw this one up in there. Now we got a nice new cool focusing rod. All right. Next, we're gonna need to make the armor. Probably gonna need more gold, I think. It's look like an Iron Man helmet. I need more diamonds. We have some, I think. Yep, okay. spells on the armor all right psi rod varnish all right focusing plate tablet okay so we need one redstone four logs two wood one okay Go ahead and start smelting the sand. One glass, two paper, papers in here. Rods look cool drops on the ground. Hold on. Oh, it's dope. Oh, cool. It's like a staff. Okay. Focusing plate tablet. What does this do? It doesn't say what it does. So let's look in our little book. Um, 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 that's not what I wanted. Focusing plate. Focusing plate is a suit of armor allowing you to seamlessly integrate spell casting into your everyday adventuring. Each piece of focus, the focusing plate is crafted from two side gems and some side metal, and is capable of casting a spell when its respective trigger is activated. The suit spells are casted with your rod as a focus, so the usual rod limits apply. Each piece of the focusing plate can be loaded with up to three spell nodes and a rod constructor, though sadly some spell node variants don't play well with the suit. A suit piece remembers the number of items it successfully cast a spell. This count can be accessed from selector success counter. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a controller for the suit. Okay. And then we just need focusing plate light sensors. Why are these going to be annoying to make? Uh, okay, what, what can we do? Gunpowder.
Okay, so gunpowder for that one. Yeah, I need my gold back. Why don't I just put that away? Okay. Prismarine. I don't think we have Prismarine. Don't have prismarine. Don't think we have melon. Okay. What's this? I can make that. Boom, boom. Doo doo. All right. We can make that one. So we can make three out of the five. Which these go where? What what are these? Alright, I'm a little confused. Might need to watch a video on this stuff. Um, but let's see how the armor looks on us. Holy crap. That looks dope. <laughs> Look at me. You see my guy? Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed episode four of All the Magic Spellbound. If you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you were new, and I'll see you guys in episode five of All the Magic Spellbound, where we'll be getting into a new mod because we finished the side quest line. Although we might be getting more into this later on. Because I'm still intrigued by this mod. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you uh, take care, see you guys next episode.